Hey everybody, Ray here. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact character video. It's finally time for us to get to know the elusive and illustrious head of the Kamisato clan, Kamisato Ayato. Also, his kit in general contains many things that are difficult to say, so please bear with me. I mean, really. Before we hop on in, please let me know if you enjoy these videos by hitting that like button, and if you're not a subscriber, please consider bopping that red button and joining the team. If there's a character you want to see next, don't forget to let me know down in the comments. Ayato is the head of the prestigious Kamisato clan in Inazuma, as well as commissioner of the Ashura Commission, presiding over festivals and cultural events. He's also the leader of the secretive ninja organisation, the Shumatsuban. Yes, that Shumatsuban. Although we've heard about Ayato during our journey through Inazuma, we didn't actually get to meet him until he debuted on the Azure Excursion banner, alongside his character chapter and trailer, where we got to see a different side of Ayato than the average Inazuman. Underneath the airs and graces of his illustrious position, Ayato has a mischievous streak, and below that, I think Ayato has a darker side. I don't quite trust him yet. Perhaps this is all just his defence for being a child thrust into the political landscape of the Tri Commission and fighting for survival, but maybe he's just kind of twisted. For now, let's hop right in with the Ayato build I've been using. I haven't gone for constellations as I decided I wanted to try and get his signature weapon instead. And when it comes to talents, he's currently at 6 attack, 9 skill and 8 burst. I am going to crown his skill, but I just haven't been able to fight the Shogun enough times for the drops I need to max this out just yet. I've unlocked all of Ayato's ascensions and leveled him up to 80, and while the teapot is in maintenance it's a little bit hard to build up the friendship level quickly, and we've just hit level 4. When it comes to weapon, I am still trying to get that signature sword. Got two LG for the ends though. But for now, I've teamed Ayato with the Inazuma craftable weapon, Aminoma Kaguchi. I originally built this up for Ayaka, but at this rate, I won't have any primos left to wish for her. Most of Ayato's artifacts have been borrowed from Child, just so I could test him out. The only piece that is actually Ayato's is the Gilded Corsage. I have updated my Tartalia build a little since his video, so I'll go through the other pieces again. The Feather is from the Gladiator set, there's an Attack Sans from the Shimanawa's Reminiscence set, one of the best artifacts on my whole account is this Hydro Damage Bonus Goblet from the Wanderer set, and finally a Crit Rate Circlet from the Gladiator set. I hadn't prepped any artifacts for him so I could farm the new domain, but I've decided I'm going to run him on Heart of Depth. I just never get anything decent in that domain though, but I do want that set for Child too, so fingers crossed for some luck this time. If you want to add an Ayato to your team, the materials you'll need to prepare are crystals and do a repudiation from the Hydro Hypostasis, hand guards from these ruffians, and sakura petals. For his talents you'll need books of elegance, more hand guards, and the mudra of the malefic general from taking down the shogun. And if you want to max out his skills you will need crowns of insight. Once you've added Ayato to your team, any more wishes for him will give you Stella Fortuna, which will light up his constellation Sacrissus Custos, which looks like an emblem made of leaves and translates to Cypress Guardian. As a commissioner for one of Inazuma's three ruling commissions, I do get the guardian part, but I'm not sure about the tree reference. Now it's finally time to check out what Ayato can do. His basic attack, Kamisato Art Marabashi, performs up to five consecutive strikes. He can consume stamina to dash forward and perform an EI and when plunging from midair, strikes the ground, dealing AoE damage upon impact. For the elemental skill Kamisato Art Kyoka, Ayato shifts positions and enters the Takimaguru Kanka state. As he shifts, he leaves a watery illusion at his original position, which will explode if near opponents, or after a short time, dealing AoE hydro damage. While in the Takimaguru Kanka state, Ayato will use Shunsuiken to engage in blindingly fast attacks. All damage from his normal attacks will then be converted into AoE Hydro damage, which cannot be overridden. He's unable to use charged or plunging attacks and his resistance to interruption is increased. Hitting an opponent with a Shunsuiken attack will grant the Namisan effect, increasing the damage dealt by the next attack based on Ayato's max HP with a max of 4 stacks. After unlocking the first passive talent Kamisato Art Miniwo Matoishi Kiyotaki, Using the skill will grant two Namisan stacks, and when the water illusion explodes, the maximum number of stacks will be granted. 
The first constellation, Kyoka Fushi, increases the damage of the Shunsuiken by 40% against opponents with 50% health or less. The second constellation, World Source, increases the maximum stack count of Namisen, and when Ayato has at least three Namisen stacks, his max HP is increased by 50%. The third constellation, To Admire the Flowers, increases the level of Kamisato Art Kyoka by three talent levels. And for the final constellation, Boundless Origin, after using Kamisato Art Kyoka, Ayato's next Shinsuiken attack will create two extra Shinsuiken strikes when they hit opponents. Each one will deal 450% of Ayato's attack as damage. The elemental burst, Kamisato Art Soyu, unveils a garden of purity that silences the cacophony within. Question of the day is, who else had to Google cacophony? While this space exists, Bloom Water Blades will constantly rain down and attack opponents within the AoE, dealing hydro damage and increasing the normal attack damage of characters within that space. For the fourth constellation, Endless Flow, after using Kamisato Art Soyu, all nearby party members will have a 15% increased normal attack speed for 15 seconds. And the fifth constellation, Bansui Ichiro, increases the talent level of Kamisato Art Soyu by three talent levels. Ayato has a few more tricks up his very extravagant sleeves, the first being his second passive talent, Kamisato Art Michiyuku Hagetsu. While not on the field, if his energy is less than 40, he will regenerate two energy for himself every second. For his final passive talent, Kamisato Art Daily Cooking, whenever Ayato cooks a dish perfectly, there's an 18% chance he'll serve an additional suspicious dish on the side. AKA Toma's portion. Poor Toma. And when Ayato cooks the defense dish Sakura Tempura, there's a chance he'll create his signature dish Quiet Elegance instead, a dish giving a greater boost to shield strength than the original product. So now we've seen what Ayato can do, let's see where Ayato could fit in your team. As always, we'll begin with Elemental Resonance. A double Hydro team will activate the Soothing Water buff, increasing incoming healing by 30%. That alone makes Ayato a pretty decent choice if you're running Kokomi or Barbara as your team's healer. It might also be worth experimenting with Xingqiu in a healer role as his elemental skill can provide some healing. And even if those three aren't your healer of choice, you can activate this buff for your healer if pairing Ayato with Mona or Child. Ayato also makes an interesting teammate for the other two 5-star banners in this patch. Venti is one of the best units in the game for drawing enemies into one location, maximising the damage from Ayato's AoE attacks. And in the second half of the patch we see Ayaka's rerun. Cryo is always a great partner for Hydro to freeze our enemies in place. If you're looking for an alternative to those 5-star units, Sucrose is a great option for grouping enemies up. Then you can make literally any other Cryo unit work. My top 4-star picks would be Rosaria or Diona, and when it comes to the 5-stars, Ganyu or Shenhe. All four of them have AoE bursts, which can pair quite nicely with Ayato's just to keep that freeze up. Vaporize is one of the most powerful reactions, so a Pyro unit is also a good fit. Personally, I think that Toma is pretty well suited to an Ayato team, as well as Bennett and Xiongling. Like Xiongling, characters that are able to provide off-field damage like Fischl and Yai Miko make good partners. I've personally been pairing Miko with Ayato as my damage dealing team, and so far I do find them a pretty fun combo. And to round off, let's talk Dendro and Geo. Well, we can wrap up Dendro pretty quickly as we're still waiting for Dendro, but for Geo, I think Ningguang is always a good call. And I'm also going to recommend Yunjin because, personally, I like her. I think Ayato is going to be a smart choice for a lot of different team comps, and his skills will make him very useful to a variety of different players. I heard in earlier versions of his kit that the Watery Illusion was actually a taunt, which would have been awesome if it was still the case, but also I think that would have just been a bit too much. I think this version of Ayato that we have in game is very well balanced, he has good on and off field damage, and has some good team support capability. As a character within the storyline though, I just really don't trust him. Maybe it's the sleeves. So that brings us to the end of today's video. If you were on the fence about Ayato, I hope this has helped you make your decision, and if it did, please leave me a little like to let me know. For more videos like this, you can pop the subscribe button to come and join the team. The question of today's video is, what is the best prank you've ever played on a friend? Let me know down in the comments. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll take a look at a very special guest who finally decided to join us. Oh yes, it's time to meet the acting grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius, Jean. But for now, see you next time. <laughs> I'm sure certain people are starting to grow rather nervous right about now.